Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the PGA slate for this weekend. Uh, this is the weekend before the Masters. This is the Valero Open. And I'm going to be doing this solo today because I'm going to be away um, for the next several days. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get on here for updated uh, takes or anything like that. And I'm going to be able to do it with Bobby tomorrow. Um, I am going to probably be able to update the ownership because right now the ownership seems a little, uh, seems a little thin. Uh, when I say thin, it means I'm just not 100% confident of it. Uh, I did post some early numbers, but I think they're going to change. So I am going to change that uh, uh, at some point tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I will have an internet connection and make it work. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the exact way I would do it with Bobby and it could be end up being a short video as a result. I'm going to go through each tier and tell you who I like uh, relative to ownership and things like that. And then I'm going to go through that little contest I have where I pick my favorite from certain you know, parameters. Um, so first of all, you have this 10K range and there, I actually do have interest in three of the four. Um, I think Rory, Spieth and DeChambeau are all pretty viable. Um, I don't, I'm not getting to any um, answer, and currently I'm not getting to any uh, Hideki as well. Why am I not getting any answer? Though? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not getting any answer. I'm not getting any Hideki, uh, but I am getting to a decent, a great amount of Rory, and then Spieth and Bryson. And what's interesting is that Spieth, I almost never get to. Um, he's not really a projection model type of guy. And the fact that he's showing up, um, it's, it's, it's very interesting to me. I'll, I'm probably going to I'll probably end up playing him if that's the case. Um, but Rory is to me is it looks to be clearly the best play. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's the top price, but it's not by that much, you know? Um, so I'm uh, going to try to get Rory in, you know, most of my lineups. And uh, that's about it from that top 10K range. Um, in the 9K and below range, I really only have interest in two guys. Um, one of them is at the top of the list. That'd be Corey Connors, 9,800. Um, he's probably going to be pretty popular, especially coming off of the, what was he, the final two, the final four, final four, the match play. And he's been playing better in general. So he'll probably be popular but I do like him uh, guy who might not be as popular who I like a lot is down at 9,100 and that'd be a uh, female. So for me, it would be probably ownership adjusted. Probably I make fee the best play uh, in this range followed by uh, Connors. Keenan, Keenan Brag, Keegan Bradley would be my next guy, I guess. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm getting to in this range. Um, not really getting to McNeely or Kirk or Woodland, you know, um, or Siwoo Kim. So Connors, Bradley, Finau, the Finau probably being my favorite given everything else. Okay, the 8K range, I like two, uh, I like two plays quite a bit actually. Um, two of my top plays on the board. One is going to be Mito Pereira uh, at 8,100. Right now, he's showing ownership of 7.5%. I just don't see how that's possible. So, again, I'm expecting to do a, an, uh, an update on this a little bit later on today or tomorrow. But Mino Pereira is my favorite play in the 8K range. And then secondly in the 8K range is going to be uh, the general, Patton Kazire. Uh, is he 8K flat? Yeah, he is 8K flat. I do like that. And those two guys for me um, just kind of rate out, grade out much better than these others. Uh, if you had to make a next tier, it would be, I do like list Vegas and Palmer just fine. Um, but uh, I think that those top two are just much, much the best for me. So uh, Pereira and um, the general patent desire. Now in the sub 8k range, um, I'll, I have four, five, six guys really. And they all look pretty good. I'll just give you the six, and then I will tell you who my favorite is. It would be Smalley. That'd be Alex Smalley. He's down at seventy-one hundred. 
despite he had a big run this past weekend uh, in, in uh, Punta Cana. Then there's uh, Matthias Schwab at 7K, 7K flat. Then there's Matthew Neesmith uh, at 7,100. And then I would say K.H. Lee would be my next one. So I don't really have the whole range. I, this is a really, really big range of 7K. So I actually am taking a pretty big stand with those four. So once again, it would be Alex Smalley, Matthias Schwab. Oh, I got one more. Matthew Neesmith. The, the, I'll give you two others. Yeah, sure. I'll give you I'll give you just one other. The other one I'll give you is uh, is, is Matt Jones. Did I say Charles Howell? Yeah, I think so. So Smalley, Schwab, Matt Jones, Howell, and Neesmith, and some KH Lee. Um, Matt Jones has been showing up in these things quite a bit. I don't know exactly why. He hasn't done all that much. Uh, but the Matthias Schwab, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of into. I guess that would be, is that my favorite? Yeah, because Smalley's is coming off kind of not a ceiling performance. He was really close to winning. Um, who ended up winning? Did Ben Martin end up winning that? Let me just, let me just confirm that. No, it was somebody else, right? He tied for second. I think it was Ben Martin who ended up winning. I forget. Anyway, it wasn't me. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Anybody under seven? Anybody? Anybody under seven K that I like? Um, I didn't see anybody at first glance. I guess the one guy that I have on my board is is David Lipsky. And he he had a he, he had a really nice tournament uh, in the Punta Cana also so that would be the one guy and there's Ben Martin look at that coming off of uh, oh he was T two also and now I forgot who won oh I know it was um, Chad Ramey he's the one who won is he playing this yeah he's playing it seventy three hundred you want to play him coming off the win um, okay so let me uh, go over kind of the, uh, the contest here. I have to pick who's going to win the tournament. And that is going to be Rory McElroy. Nothing fancy. Under 10K to make top five. Um, I will go with uh, my with Tony Finau. Sub 9K to make top 10. Um, flip a coin. I will go with the general at 8K, Pat and Kazire. And sub 7K to make uh, top 20. Um, I'm going to go with Matthias Schwab and let's say top guy over 9k to not make the cut guy over 10k uh, over 9k to not make the cut that is going no it was going to be him I am going to unfortunately go with Abraham answer no no it's not sorry it is going to be jason day jason day at 9k to miss the cut and uh that will do it uh hope bobby gives you some more more takes maybe kenny will get on there as well and i will be updating ownership projections um hopefully at least one more time before i leave uh, tomorrow that will do it and good luck